The Manitoba Native Federation is taking COVID-19 very seriously, and we want to make sure you are too. Our Provincial Youth Advisory Committee have some great advice to share with you on how you can keep involved, to keep busy, and enjoy some good laughs and conversation all the while in the comfort of your home. I stay at home because, including myself, most of my immediate family has asthma, making us at a higher risk of complications if we get this virus. So I practice social distancing to keep myself and my family safe. As a healthcare worker and first responder, I see hundreds of vulnerable patients every day that are at high risk for COVID-19. I stay home and social distance, not only for my safety, but for the safety of my patients, residents, and clients. I'd like to advise you to buy the essential foods you need to wait out during this COVID-19 pandemic. Some restaurants may be open, but only for takeout. You save a lot more money at home cooking than you would going out every night. I stay home and practice social distancing to protect myself, my friends, my family, and especially the healthcare workers on the front lines of COVID-19. I think during these trying times, it's important to practice cultural activities like fishing. I just wanted to come on here and tell you that it's important to make sure that you're washing your hands regularly and for 20 seconds, even though you're staying at home. Make sure that you're getting in between the fingers, under your nails, the back of your hands, your thumbs, and washing your hands thoroughly. I am staying home and self-isolating to help preserve and protect our Métis culture and our Métis elders. They're the ones who are at the most risk. So I think as youth, it's our responsibility to stay home, self-isolate, to ensure the safety of our Métis elders. I stay home to help stop the spread of the virus and to protect my friends and family. It is very important to practice social distancing and we need to work together to help stop the spread of the virus. We know how important it is that we all do what we can to limit our physical interactions. This doesn't stop the social interactions. Mental health supports are available and we want to make sure you know how to access these supports. Over the next while, we'll stay home together and we'll keep talking, keep sharing, and keep our families and communities safe. God bless.